point, Ben asked Dr. Bamia how citizens can be reasonably assured that MPP will deliver on its policies this time round, in the light of the fact that the political parties have failed and refused to do so in the past, including the MPP. I want to have hope again, but history tells me it's all talk and that it's unwise to be hopeful. They just want to enrich themselves in power. What's your reaction to that? That's my final... Um, if it was a matter of enriching himself, Nana Kofuado would not really be here. He's not someone who is there for making money. He's one of the most uh, honest. He's a man of integrity. He's very honest and he's very focused on delivering a vision. Nana Kofuado is not in politics because of his stomach. Everybody knows he's incorruptible. And I'm very glad to provide him with the support. We really mean what we say about wanting to transform this economy. We want to relieve Ghanaians of the hardships. If you look today, you know, teachers are suffering, teacher trainees are suffering, fishermen are suffering, nurses are suffering, cocoa farmers are suffering, laborers are suffering, you know, drivers are suffering, insurance costs and, and roadworthy and all of that. You know, prices are, are much higher today. Uh, uh, than during the MPP era across. And, and, and so we want to bring in an, a transformative agenda to make Ghana the most business-friendly and the most people-friendly economy in Africa. We really mean it, and we are asking for the support of Ghanaians, uh, for Nana Dankwa Kufuado and the MPP uh, to, to bring this change that we need so badly in mm. Ghana. We wish you well in your campaign. Thank you very much for talking to us, and have a a peaceful Ramadan. Uh, that was Dr. Baumia. Thank you, Ramadan Mubarak, to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. Thank, Thank you. you.